Hi, I'm Christina Bing and welcome to my place. Come on in. When I walk in from a long day, I want to be greeted with things that I love, warmth and lots of color. Bright colors just lift me up, especially when like the world is very dark sometimes. And so it's nice to come here and unwind and have beautiful things. I'm a part-time content creator, but I still have a nine to five. And I do think that lets people know that even if you have a nine to five, you can still create content out of your home and have it be like a fun side thing. Describe your style. Oof. Someone asked me recently, what can I Google or what can I search on Pinterest to like find this? And I was like, this is just stuff that I like. I don't even think there's like a style name for this. It's just a reflection of who me and my girlfriend are. Like this is just a reflection of us. And that happens to be art, plants, rooted in neutrals with pops of color. I've just always loved color and art and film and music. And I feel like this home is like a reflection of all of those things. This is the living room. It is filled with lots of things that I've collected. It feels cozy, it feels homey, eclectic, and a mix of gorgeous things that I love. But it's like a little bit of everything and I, I like that. This apartment just had white walls and nothing on the walls, nothing in the windows, just a bare, open, gorgeous space with lots of light. We didn't do any like painting. We wanted to make sure that the art spoke for itself and also took over for that. You'll see a theme in this home and it is how important art is and how it is highlighted in every single room in the space. My gallery wall is my most favorite piece. Most of the people that did the art on this wall either I know or I'm a huge fan of. And then my girlfriend and I do punch needle, something we picked up during the pandemic. And so we decided to highlight them here. We love anything that is food. Also, this is real bread. It's a light, but they hollow out a real piece of bread, put lighting in it. And then are you okay is like, obviously no one was okay during that time. So you'll see a lot of these around the house. This rug from Cold Picnic, it's one of my favorite pieces. It makes the room feel very warm. Also lighting is so important. We have a lot of mood lighting around our apartment as well. And I think that that also makes it feel cozy and warm. Neon lights. I was super inspired by Keith Haring. I love it so much. Nostalgia is really important to me. I like to remember a time where I didn't have bills and things like that. So that's why there's toys in here. They were inspired by like vintage McDonald's toys. It's a collaboration with an artist, but it just reminded me of being young. So I had to have that. Things that are vintage just give me that nostalgic feeling. You can really breathe life into a space with vintage pieces. Some of these vintage pieces, it's one of a kind. And continuing that into your home is such a special thing to have. Taking your time and hunting for those pieces is really important. And the environment, come on. It's nice to come home to a nice, calm space. Then you go into the dining room and in here you'll see another gallery wall. I have a whole shelf of candles that are shaped like food. Some of them smell like the actual food, which is incredible, and some don't. When you walk into your home, you wanna feel warmth and love and joy, and it also needs to smell and feel good. That's why I love these like candles and things that look like food, because you just wanna like take a bite out of it. And I love those types of things in the house where you're like, should I eat this or should I just smell it? My, all of my favorite pieces are here. This dining table is a vintage table. It's from Italy. I could not pass this table up when I saw it. It's so beautiful. These are like a replica of the Sesca chair. When you're like designing on a budget, maybe you need to get the cheap replica version because that's what's in your budget. And yeah. I love wavy lines. I think also having mirrors in your space is important because it reflects the light so beautifully in different spaces. And then plants are a whole thing. Like I'm trying to keep philodendrons and cacti in my house because they're the easiest to maintain. This one thrives off of neglect, which that's my favorite type of plant, so <laughs> yeah. And now we enter the bedroom and another gallery wall awaits you. Again, this room is neutrals with big pops of color. It's filled with beautiful photography that my girlfriend took, my friend Kenzie. A lot of artists that I love and respect that happen to be women and another Are You Okay artwork. This really adds a punch to the wall that I think otherwise would be kind of basic. So I love it. Instead of doing a traditional headboard, I also have, I would say like a modern version of what a headboard would be. We decided to hang some art above our bed, but this is really nice and neutral enough where I can do crazy bedding. I'm, I'm a huge fan of mixing patterns and prints and texture. The soft pink and lavender is just so calming and soft. I love it. We added this wall sconce, which adds like a very soft light. 
this overhead lighting can be a little harsh. And on the other side, we just have a tiny little yellow lamp that adds another pop of color. Yellow reminds me of the sun, and that always brings me warmth and good energy. We just wanted to make sure that everything was quiet and calm and very peaceful in here, filled with things that we love, obviously. And I love waking up to this gallery wall every morning. It brings me a lot of joy. It ties back into the nostalgia. And then to get to the bathroom and see this original tile, I'm so blown away. I was like, oh my gosh, when I saw this place. So, but yeah, very special. When people come in and they're like, wow, the tile, everything, like it's in pretty good condition considering my landlord's had it in his family forever. There is no art in here, but I think you can play up bath mat, shower curtain in place of art prints. I love pattern mixing, if you couldn't tell. The space is very bold, and I decided to add more bold elements on top of it. Striped towel and a little like waist bin down here is so cute. It also has like smiley faces all over it. I love a sheer shower curtain because it allows for the light to transformed the space. We added this shower head from Spruce Home. Another simple, easy thing that you can do to transform a space is to just switch out the shower head. This bathroom also, because it is older, it does not have any storage. So sometimes you have to be creative and pick things that are also functional for the space. It's frozen in time, honestly, and that's a really beautiful feeling to have. And now we come to the art and therapy room. This room is for arts and crafts and therapy. It's nice to just have a space dedicated to healing, which I think art does. Also, all of our shoes are here. I need to hide them. They're cute and I love them. Another gallery wall. More of the punch needle that we do. Little pizza, little banana, little hamburger. More food, surprise, surprise. And this is like, ugh, which is like, you know, my favorite thing ever. There's not like a wrong way to do punch needle. And I think that that's why I love it so much. Yeah, I love it. YouTube University. I love that you can watch a video and actually learn how to make anything and literally become an expert in it if you just keep at it. That's also very inspiring. I just think protecting your peace and energy is really important and only bringing things in that feel good and letting go of all the things that are bad and not beneficial for you. You gotta release that stuff because your body really holds on to that stuff. A room for therapy, I'm telling you. Do you love your apartment? It's calm, peaceful, good energy. It also holds a lot of things that mean a lot to me. Things from my girlfriend's side of the family and things that we've bought together. And I think it's just like a beautiful culmination of life lived over the last seven to 10 years. Like and subscribe for more handmade videos just like this.